What's up everybody, some guy who cooks here and welcome to the all new Blackstone Burger series. Every Monday I'm gonna be doing a different burger for you and eventually I'm gonna work my way into doing Bob's Burgers. But for now we're gonna kick off with one very important burger. I've done the Smash Burger, now it's time to do a variant of the Smash Burger, we're doing the Lace Burger. If you have never heard of it, the Lace Burger is a Smash Burger but it's smashed so thin that the edges get kinda like crispy and stuff while you still have that nice softer center of the beef. The way you achieve this is by having smaller patties that you just smash as good as you can. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right, and I'm gonna make it the best way I think you can make it. Of course, we've got our two little beef balls here. We've also got our Parmesan crusted buns. If you'd like to know how to make these, check out my Parmesan bun episode, link down in the description below. We've also got one slice of American, I use white American, and right here is where we're making our aioli. I'm skipping the lettuce and tomato, I just want a good old cheeseburger. For the aioli, we've got mayonnaise, duking it down, stone ground mustard, a blue cheese mustard, and some lemon juice. Go ahead and just give that a good stir. And it is ready to go. Mm. Oh, that's super good. If you wanna go ahead and dress your buns first, go right ahead. All right, guys, it's all prepped. This is a quick process. We're gonna take our first ball here, throw it down, let it brown a little bit on the first side. Give it a little flip. Oh, not what we wanted to happen. All right, give it a little flip. So we got some brown stuff that doesn't stick. And then we're gonna give it a good press as much as you can. As wide as you can press this thing. Get it down there, okay? And look at that, real tight patty there. Next one, going down. Let it brown a little bit on that first side. And then <laughs> scrape it so it doesn't stick like that first one did. These cook fast, by the way, okay? All right, it's got a little bit of time. That way, that side is not gonna stick to your spatula. That's why you wanna do that. First spatula down, second down here. Press it real good, okay? Get a good press on this as flat as possible. There we go, we got a good, and we even go a little bit more here, okay? Look how flat that is. It's looking great. We wanna season with just a little bit of salt and pepper. You can see these already browning a bit. There we go, dash of salt on either one. Dash of pepper. First one, scrape right under. Flip it. Look at that browning there. Immediately, we're gonna throw the cheese right on top. Next one, start getting under it. All right, get it, flip it. Look at that crust. We take the first one. Flip it back over on top of that second one. Boom. They're pretty well cooked, guys. They're ready to go. Get our bottom bun. Scoop it on up. Right onto that bottom bun. Now here comes our top bun, and there we have it. Go ahead and turn off our griddle and order up. Look at this amazing burger here. It is dripping juicy. Hot, it's ready to eat now. Let's give it a go. <laughs> that is one of the best burgers you'll ever have. The lemon and the mustard with the mayo for that aioli just gives it this really nice tang. It's got a good beefy flavor. I'm using ground chuck. Mm, nice little crisp from those two patties, but still a little bit of chew like your beef should have. And of course, we've got the Parmesan crusted brioche buns. This thing is chock full of flavor and hardly any ingredients. Truly amazing. You want one of the best burgers you'll ever have. Super simple. Go with a smash style lace burger. Mm. You won't regret it. For now, uh, I need some alone time with this. See you next time, guys. Some guy who cooks out. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below.